Hey guys, welcome back to PHP Tutorials number two. And what I've decided to do, um, instead of having a class register, class login, etc., we're going to have one class for registering, logging in, you know, in your account basically. And that's going to be, uh, it's going to be the account, it's going to be called account, sorry. So we're going to change class register to class account. And then we're going to save this. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> And then I'm going to rename class underscore register to class underscore account. Just to make um, managing it a lot simpler. And I'm also going to come up here and do require once and edit that to account. And also change register to account. And create a new account instead of register. And that should do it. Okay, so I just saved that page. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a MySQL query and we're going to insert the user to the database. So we're going to do res equals MySQL query. Oops, MySQL query. Insert into users. That'll be our user database. Uh, into users. Um, we'll do username equals username. Oops. Uh, then we'll do password equals password. It'll already be md 5 And email equals, oops, email equals email. Just like that. And then we'll do if res die mysql error. And I know there's a different way we can do that, but we're not going to for now. Okay, so now that we have this done, it's pretty simple. Uh, we are going to come here to our index.php, and then we're going to need a register page, right? So on our content, on our content div, divider, um, well, I'm not sure if divide, div means divide, anyways, uh, we're going to need to create a register page. So in our div, I'm going to do a PHP tag, and if page equals O2, because that's what we made it, I'm going to do echo registering. And then I'm going to do else place equals home, because that's what we named place. So if place equals home, echo your home. Perfect. So I'm going to save this. We're just going to refresh. It should say your home. And we have an error. Index.php on line 53. Oh. Else. Oh wait. That was right. I didn't have an if. Sorry. If. Right there. Now we can refresh your home perfect. And let's click register and it should say registering or register. Code, not page, I'm sorry. If code and act and act equals login. There we go, perfect. So now we're gonna create the register form. I'm just gonna do echo h2 register and then we're actually going to come into our class account to create the form so we're just going to do um, account create form and then the form is going to be register and we haven't created this function yet create form we're going to do that now in our class account so we're going to come here um, outside of our add user function and we're going to do function create form and then uh, form type so what the form type is going to be you know if the forms for logging in registering editing their settings or anything we can just um, create have the create form right here so we'll do if form type equals register we'll do well we'll create a form 
So we'll do form equals, and I'm just going to give me myself a few lines. Form name equals register. Um, action, or let's just do method equals post. And that's it for form. And like I said, we do use tables and stuff in the last tutorial, so we'll create our table. Table row. Table data. And the first one will be username. And one second, okay. And then TD input type equals text. Name equals username. And then we'll just copy and paste this table row. Um, for password, repeat password, email, repeat email. So now we'll have password. Let's put type password too. Password. Repeat password. Lowercase the p. We don't want it to look nasty. <laughs> Email. And the name will be email. Repeat email. And the name will be repeat email. Perfect. So now we have the form done. Very easy and simple. Wait. I've got one very important element. You, do you guys know what that is yet? <laughs> input type. I totally forgot, I'm sorry. Oh, input type, what do I mean? Input uh, type is a button. Oh, submit, I mean. Submit. <laughs> input type equals submit. Um, yeah, value equals register. Perfect. Oh, we also have to end the tier. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And hopefully, since we're on code equals 2, it should show us the form. Okay, actually, uh, we did forget one thing. We have to come after we have form equals whatever. We have to actually do uh, echo. Well, we'll come out of here and to after the if and we'll do echo form just so we can add as many ifs as we want then we can echo it at the end let me make it a little simpler now it should work okay perfect type in your username password oh that didn't work I'm sorry we forgot to change input type to password perfect and then, you know, you can click register, but it won't do anything. Okay, so now that we have that done, we actually want to do the registering process. And we're going to do that um, inside um, the class, too. And we'll do that above create form just to keep it a little more sophisticated, I guess. Um, I guess we can just do it right in the add user function. So we'll have to add two more... Uh, parameters um, other than username, password, and email. We'll have to use password two and password oh, email two, password three, <laughs> and email two. So we're gonna do all, everything in here instead of how I wanted to do it, but it'll this will work better. That's why I'm changing it. Okay, so now we need to create an if function. So now we'll do if, uh, where we'll, do we want to do that? Okay, we'll do it right here. If um, act, no if, sorry, post register, else, echo, you're done, dune. 
Okay. I just want to make sure that I, I'm doing it right. Because we might have named the form something else. Yeah, I think we did. Post register. Form name. Register. I'm just going to change um, input type equals submit. I'm going to make the name register. Just so we're clear on that. Perfect. You're done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. So now that we have a saying you're done, we can just erase you're done, by the way. I'm gonna we're gonna have it do account add user and then we'll do post username post password post repeat password post email post repeat email repeat email okay perfect and we'll have the semicolon at the end save that and before we try that uh, we want to get some things done first so we're gonna do we have to have first uh, we want to make sure that our data is safe that we're getting from the post so we'll do um, username equals um, mysql escape real string MySQL real escape string, sorry. And then strip tags, and then we'll do username. What this is going to do is going to strip the tags and also um, escape MySQL strings. We're going to do this for all five, um, even the um, repeats, just to be safe. I know. <laughs> don't ask why I said I don't know. Because I don't know. Okay, so now we want to start doing verification. So if username, oops, and and password, and 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 password two, and and email, and and email two. Then we can keep going and I'm just going to move this into here. And then we'll do else echo you must fill out the form completely. Complete. Is that how you spell completely? I'm going to type it again. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. And then we'll have that here and we'll have this in red font color equals red. Is that how you do it? I don't know. I don't use font. Font. And then we'll do this create form um, register. And also we will add tags. Um, in your create form we'll add some tags. We'll do um, username equals null email equals equals null. What null does means if there is no username or if there is no email it'll just make it nothing. So, but we'll use one. We'll use um, username username <laughs> and then we'll also do email and email to and then email to equals null also. Alright, so now we can do value equals username and also in oops also in here we'll do value equals what is this email let's copy this and then we can do value equals email too and we'll just save this so now that we're let's click register Okay, so now that we're here, I'm going to type in, I'm just going to skip password. And, okay, Andrew213432. Oh, okay, so what the problem here is that, oh, you, if you can't see, it uh, says you must fill out the form completely. Um, 
basic, well, not basically, this is what it means, is that we need to set up the MySQL uh, database because it won't process anything since, you know, we have that warning. So in the next tutorial, we'll set up the MySQL real escape string or MySQL database and we'll finish uh, the register script. So I'll see you guys soon. Comment, subscribe, and thumbs up or thumbs down. Bye.